I put up my hair in this little baby top knot because it's so hot right now and I can't have the air on if I'm filming a video because it's just, it's way too loud. Hello beautiful internet people! How are you today? I hope you're doing amazing. Today is Tuesday and that means today's video is Tuesday's Tips. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Jessica and I post videos five times a week, Monday through Friday, each day a different topic, and if you want to find out more information about this video schedule and what each day is, I will have all that information in the description box below. Today's Tuesday tips are all about how to be a morning person, how to wake up early, and how to get your day started off right, feeling positive, so you can get ready and go out there and kick some grass. And yes, that was like the worst pun I've ever made in my life, but I'm trying to be age appropriate here. Do you feel? Before I get into the video, really quickly, I want to make a huge announcement. As many of you guys know, I'm getting married soon, and right now I'm doing all sorts of wedding related stuff and planning and things. And this past weekend, I went wedding dress shopping and I found my dream dress and I vlogged it all. And that vlog is going up this Thursday, August 3rd, yes, in two days. And I'm so excited to share the experience with you. And I would just be so happy if you guys tuned in and watched the video when it goes live on Thursday. And I'm just, I'm really excited. So please keep your eye out for Thursday's video on my wedding dress vlog experience and keep your notifications on. Alrighty, let's wrap up this intro and get into the video. is for my people who are about to start school in the next couple weeks and your bedtime is like 3 in the morning. Don't worry, that was me all throughout college and high school and it was like the hardest transition to get from going to bed at 3 a.m. to like 9, 10, 11 p.m. So my tip for this situation is starting now, a couple weeks before you go back to school, is start going to bed 15 to 30 minutes earlier every night. If you go to bed 15 minutes earlier every night, in just four days, you'll be going to bed an hour earlier than you just were. This is a great way to progress and transition over time, so that way your body's not just like, nope, nope, this is not, this is not normal. I have not been going to bed at this time. And instead, it feels a lot more eased into the transition. Tip number two is something that will help make your mornings a lot easier and it'll help you from wasting time. Set aside and pick out anything you might need the next morning, the night before. Your outfit, your to-go water bottle, your keys, your shoes that you can never find. All of those things that you spend time in the morning looking for or picking out or organizing. So my tip is to pick out everything and then put it in a spot that makes sense. Put your outfit by the closet, you know, put your keys on the table, put your shoes by the door because girl, I. I feel you, my shoes are just never where I think I left them last and I will spend a good 15 minutes looking for them. So put them by the door. Tip number three is to set your alarm 15 minutes before you actually have to start getting ready and spend those 15 minutes doing something you really enjoy doing. Whether it's, you know, a little quick journal, writing down your dreams, whether it's reading a passage or two from your favorite book or your Bible or you know, maybe go out and stand on your balcony for 15 minutes, breathe some fresh air. Doing something like this, doing something you love first thing in the morning, right when you wake up, is a great way to wake up as compared to going on your phone and browsing on social media. Don't do that and instead spend the morning on yourself. Spend those 15 minutes journaling, writing your goals for the month and focusing on yourself rather than other people and on social media so easy to get sucked in it's so easy to waste time tip number four is my favorite tip and it is one of my favorite parts of my morning routine before you get out of bed think of three things that you have to be grateful for it is impossible to start your day off bad when there is so much to be grateful for in your life by doing this and thinking of all the things that you do have instead of what you don't have is going to ensure that you start your day off with a grateful heart and a head full of positivity tip number five is to find a delicious morning treat that you love to eat that you're excited to get out of bed for. My delicious morning treat is a good smoothie and a chocolate croissant. I just, I can't resist that in the morning. I am so hungry when I wake up. Giving yourself something delicious to get out of bed for will just really like put you in a good mood because you are about to have a croissant and a smoothie and like what could be better than that? 
Tip number six is to have a fun morning playlist that gets you going and something that's fun to, you know, get dressed to and get ready to find you some good music that makes you feel good and makes you feel just alive and good vibes everywhere and makes you feel happy. In the description box, I've included a list of some of my favorite morning songs that make me feel just really happy in the morning and make me feel really like excited to start my day. If you guys want to check that out, I have a link below that you can check out. Tip number seven, I feel like is kind of a no-brainer, but I think it's always nice to be reminded. Make sure you're getting six to eight hours of sleep a night. It is so important to make sure you're getting the right amount of sleep because there's no substitute for sleep and your body just does not do well on little to no sleep. I take it from me guys, there was this point in my life where I was working two jobs and I had so much responsibility and sleep was like the lowest of my priority. I got so sick. I was throwing up. I got physically sick and could not go to work for a couple days and I couldn't do anything but lay in bed because I didn't sleep enough. And make sure you're taking care of yourself. And finally, tip number eight is a tip that I don't know how it's going to be received. A lot of you guys might disagree with me on this, but I am targeting this uh, video towards people who are my age. If you're a little bit older in your 30s or 40s, then that's different. But if you're in your 20s, like me, or even if you're a little bit younger, then this tip is really geared towards you. My tip is that I personally recommend avoiding coffee, even though it is trendy and relatable and you might feel obligated to drink it because everybody else is, but I personally recommend avoiding coffee because I've found from personal experience that once you start having coffee, you feel very dependent on it and you feel like you can kind of excuse yourself from sleeping enough. Like you can be like, oh, I'll sleep less. I'll just have a cup of coffee in the morning. And like I said, sleep is so important to your body's health and coffee is not a substitute for sleep. It's just not. Coffee is a boost. And finally, I cut coffee out of my system and since then I have been getting sick less, significantly less. Um, I have been a lot less anxious and stressed and I felt more normal. So I personally recommend cutting out coffee or just not drinking it and instead just really taking care of your body instead by sleeping and drinking water. Those are my two like do that, do, do that, drink water and sleep. Drink water and sleep, like make that your daily routine. Make sure that's incorporated so heavily into your life. So those are all eight of my tips on how to be a morning person and how to start your day off ready to slay the day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, I highly recommend checking out my other tips, how to and advice videos. I have stuff on how to be more productive, how to talk to someone you're into, etc. and so forth. Don't forget that this Thursday I am posting my wedding dress vlog and like I said, I would just be so happy if you guys tuned in when the video goes live this Thursday. August 3rd. I'm gonna keep saying it because I'm so excited about it and I just I really am so excited to share the experience with you guys. It was so special, so amazing and I just I, I'm so happy you guys. I'm so happy. Finally, I want to end today's video with something I've been wanting to do for a while and that is ending the video with a quote of the day that I picked out from the handy dandy Pinterest and today's quote of the day is hustle hard and stay humble. So with that, I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching. Maraming salamat sa lahat. Mahal ko kaya. And I love you guys.